Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. In this video I'm going to show you how to assemble this Mountfield SP185 self-propelled petrol lawnmower. I'm going to get this out of the box, I'm going to show you how to attach the handles and everything you're going to need to do with this lawnmower to get yourself up and running. So I'm going to start by opening the box, showing you what's inside and I'll show you the easiest way to get this out and get this set up. So let's open this lawnmower up. The first thing I want to point out is the oil is not supplied with this lawnmower. The correct oil is SAE30 oil, I'll link to some of that oil in the description of this video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, there's over 11,500 subscribers on here now, so please feel free to tick the subscribe button and hit the bell, and then you get an email every time I upload a new video. So I've done around 300 service and repair videos on these lawnmowers. So, that's enough promotion. I'm going to just take this card off this box and we'll just have a look in here and see what we've got. So, all nicely packaged, you've got your grass collector, and that's nearly assembled, I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on in the video. We'll just remove some of this bubble wrap here, and you can see we're getting into this part here. That's actually a mulching plug, I'll show you how to fit that as well. We've got, looks like some documentation here, all your books and uh, warranty card. It looks like we've got some quick release handles in here as well. The easiest way to get these out of the box is to actually slip the box. I didn't want to lift that off, you don't want to damage anything, especially because it's new. I just slip the back of the boxes here, along these edges here. And the easiest way to do this is to slip that and just wheel the actual lawnmower out the back of the box like this. There's a few parts underneath here, and then you've got a handle. And just move that box from there, and you've actually got this lawnmower out of the box. One of the handles was just laid in the bottom of the box as well. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to actually leave this bubble wrap on top just so I don't scratch anything. I'm going to lift this handle up at the top. This is the, the actual higher, the top higher part of the handle. I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to just lean that up there to save that getting scratched. And this handle here should just pull back over like it does there. I'm going to show you how to attach the handle into these parts here. And now I've got that out of the way, I can remove this. So as you can see this is a really nice looking lawnmower this. This uh, SP185 is 46 centimetre cutting width and I'm going to do a full review on this. If you look in the top right hand corner of your screen now you'll actually see there's a, a list to every video I've actually filmed on this actual 300 series SP185 lawnmower. So have a look in the top right hand corner of your screen now you'll see that. But the next thing we need to do is we need to just back these parts off here and we need to just put these handles here through this square part here. The same at the other side so they've just kind of left it a little bit assembled to give you a little bit of guidance how to do this. I'm going to take these two parts off, we need to push this handle down a little bit further that way, we'll put these back through. It's really important when connecting the lower part of this handle on this machine that these actual handles go to the outside. When it's shipped the handles are on the inside but this square part here needs to go through the inside here and then you need to get the handle on the outside. This makes it easier to tighten up and if you don't do it that way what you'll find is these threads stick out this side here and you can't get the grass box on and off easily so these handles must face the outside. So you're probably beginning to realise it's pretty simple to set up, I mean Mountfield have supplied this and kind of 90% of it's set up, you've not got to put any cables or any springs on or anything like that, you've literally got to put the handle on, drop some oil in that and actually put some petrol in and away you go. So the next part of this assembly is we're going to fit this top part of the handle, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So this model of lawnmower actually comes with these quick release handles that I really like and they're quite easy to fit as well. Just to make filming a little bit easier, I've actually assembled the ones at the far side but all you need to do with these, it's applied like this, you just take this part off at the end here and these are really good for when you want to just fold your handles down for transporting it or storing it in your uh, actual shed or garage. You just need to put this on here and this whole part lines up. This is like got a semicircle on here and you can push this through here like that push the whole thing through then you just need to start the thread at the other side when it feels like it's getting slightly tight you can just put the handle up like that it needs to be a little bit tighter than that you just keep going sometimes you can just turn the handle as well when you get to around this part here you can just tighten the handle up and it'll clip like this like that and that's how the whole handle is assembled just take a second, just to film round as well, just to help anybody out, because I know what it's like when you're watching a video and somebody goes really fast, so this part goes through this side here. You can see here it's quite tight to undo, and it clamps like this way, and the handle should go upwards like that, although it wouldn't really matter. And on here as well, 
what I normally do is I like to get a, a cable tie and I just tie these actual cables to the handle. Sometimes they come with a little cable tie actually, you might even have one with this. But if not I like to actually cable tie these to the handle and make sure that you do that especially when you're transporting it because if you take this handle down and fold it down a lot of the time you'll see these cables actually get trapped between the handles and it can break these cables over time. Something else I really like on these mount field lawnmowers as well is this cable here actually goes down here into the self drive. Now over time these cables stretch and a lot of lawnmowers after the cable stretch you'll find that the self drive doesn't work. On this lawnmower this is actually an adjuster you can actually turn this part here and you'll get a little bit more adjustment on this so as a few years go past and the cable stretches you're not going to have to try and get under here to the transmission box which is a real pain and replace the cable and you won't need to also take it to a dealer either which is good. So you can just actually alter this and get yourself a little bit more pull on the actual self drive cable so great feature that it doesn't come with uh, too many lawnmowers but it seems to be on a lot of the more modern Mountfield ones and just before as I was mentioning somebody will have seen this on the video there is actually this cable tied here and that's designed you can take that off here you can put that down here and put the cables in here look and it clamps them on there we can make those nice and tidy and as this lawnmower is shipped without any oil in and obviously there's no petrol in here I'll just show you the underside of it as well you can see here how your cutting blade is and you've actually got this belt guard under here that stops all the grass going back up and dragging the belt off so that's a nice thing to look at as well because I like to see that some of these don't have these on the cheaper ones of uh, unbranded lawnmowers don't tend to have the actual guard on the bottom and the belts come off easy you've got your transmission box under here I just thought I'd show you the underside of this so you can have a quick look so you will need to purchase some oil for this as it's not shipped with it and it says on the back here SAE30 and I will link to that in the description of the video where you can buy that it's um, usually around half a litre of oil that goes in these lawnmowers but obviously you'll have to measure that on the dipstick the oil goes in here you can see on here and it needs to actually come somewhere between these two marks on here so there's a little bit shipped in there, there's a little bit on the dipstick so to check the oil you need to go in here, this side is the actual engine oil dipstick there might be a little bit on the stick but you need to clean that off and top the oil up or fill it up from beginning and make sure it becomes between these two little marks on here there's just two little engine oil marks on this dipstick here Hopefully you can see that anywhere between those two holes in there and you've got the correct amount of oil in and to check that you need to put it in and actually thread it down like that and take it back out. And this actual lawnmower is a Briggs & Stratton 300 series engine, I really like these, I've done a full service video on one of these recently. If you look in the top right hand corner of your screen now you'll see a link to a video on a full service video, it's about an hour long I think, on this 300 series so if you're thinking of purchasing this lawnmower you might just want to save that video somewhere. But normal petrol in here, there's no mixing anything, this is a four stroke lawnmower normal petrol goes in here I think it holds about a litre of fuel as well so no mixing anything, you've got your normal SE30 oil in there you've got your normal petrol in here and this has actually got a primer on to start the lawnmower so you just push this four or five times to get yourself going, that just primes it and puts a little bit of fuel in the engine then you need to release the brake which is this one here pull this up to the actual handle there and then you'll get the pull cord which is currently right down here and pull the pull cord and that'll start your lawnmower but what I don't like is having to reach down here all the way down here to the pull cord and that's why they fitted this little part here that actually hooks to I'm going to show you how to hook the pull cord in there now now those this might seem a little bit straightforward but you just pull the pull cord and put it in here there are actually a few things you'll want to know about this so I'm going to back that off a little bit and what you've got to be careful of is not to just pull the pull cord now you actually need to release this brake here at the top and then the pull cord will pull smoothly up to the top here. I like to hook these in from underneath. One other thing I want to show you as well, which is a really good feature, is this single point height adjuster. There's actually six settings on the back of here, ranging from 25mm to 65 And when you alter this single point lever, it alters the height of the whole lawnmower deck. You don't have to go around each individual wheel and alter every single one. You can just go to wherever you want, put it in position for the height of cut that you require and then you can just simply start mowing again which is a great feature, saves a little bit of time. This lawnmower also comes with a mulching plug which is great if you don't want to actually actually bag this grass up, if you just want to bed it back into your own grass which is actually apparently quite good for the grass. You can use this mulching plug and what happens is the machine will chop the grass up more finely, it stays underneath for longer and beds it back into the grass to put this in here you just grab this plug here push it in and then there's two bits at the back you press down like this 
and then that's the mulching plug in place. Really simple, really straightforward to do. And then to release it, you just need to push this bit, you need to squeeze this, lift it up, tilt this. You can take this actual mulching plug back out. So once you've got some oil and some petrol in here, away you go. I've just checked the underside of it to make sure there's nothing underneath there. That's why I wanted to film that. And to start this, as I've said, lift this top actual lever here, pull the pull cord and away you go. And when you want to use the self-drive, just pull the bottom part up as well to the top and the self-drive will go. When you want the self-drive to stop, let go of it. It's as simple as that. So really, um, this is kind of already mostly built from Mountfield. You've got to put the handle on. I always use this part as well. Not everybody does, but if you're starting your lawnmower and emptying the grass box quite a lot, you don't want to be bending all the way down to there every time. So most of this is assembled. Really like these quick release handles as well for folding things down. If you can just fold the top part of the handle down, it saves you quite a lot of space in your garage. So one thing you are going to have to do is actually finish assembling this grass bag. Most of it's been assembled, but these parts assemble from the inside to the outside. So don't try and get around the other side of this they actually go from the in to the outside and it's a little bit fiddly to do and I'll do it on camera but I'll probably just speed up this process you can see here you can get that there and push it over the top how it goes from the inside to the outside like that do the same at the other side I'll just speed up the rest of the video as I sort of fumble around for a few minutes just putting this together So there we go, eventually we got there, it just took me a minute or so. You can see how everything is nice and securely fastened around here and everything goes around the edges of this. That's all you need to do. You've actually got a grass bag indicator on the back of here as well, which lifts up when it tells you the grass bag's full. So I'll just film around a bit showing you exactly how this should go. These handles go on the outside like that. And the reason for that is when you lift the actual grass box deflector up with the grass box connected, it doesn't catch on that. These handles here, you can see how they just go through this side here and this handle actually goes up like that. So I'll show you how to fit the grass box on here. Actually, the handle, little handle on here. You see these actual plastic little, little tabs that are under here. This is where the actual grass box hooks onto and they're really nice and solid. On some uh, older, different style mowers years ago, they used to be really thin, tend to snap off, but they look really nice and solid, so that's nice to see. And this actual grass bag here, you just pick this up and this just hooks on those actual tabs. It's all pretty straightforward really, you can lift this up like that and you can just put that on there and this deflector just sits back down here and that's why it's important that you get these handles on the right way. I'll just quickly show you all the documentation you get when you purchase this lawnmower as well as the operating instructions, the warranty card, you've got um, the full operator's manual which seems to be here twice actually but um, these are the things you get, you've got your certificate on here, you'll need these details off here if you need to order any parts as well. So I hope this has helped anybody out trying to get up and running with one of these actual Mountfield SP185s. On the right hand side of your screen now you'll see an actual full service video for this type of engine on here which is a Briggs 300 series. You can watch that if you own the lawnmower and it should get you up and running after a few years and teach you how to service your own lawnmower as well. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, tick the bell notification and you'll get an email that will keep you up to date on all the videos on the channel. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions about this particular engine or this particular model of Mountfield lawnmower, leave me a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you again next time.